All right, get excited, Meg. It's another super shoe. What is happening? I know. I'm Thomas from Believe in the Run. This is Megan from Believe in the Run. And today we're talking about the Puma Deviate Nitro Elite. Ooh, or did you want to throw the Elite in first? I, I didn't know the Nitro was in there. Okay, the Nitro's at the end. Let's do it again. This is the Puma. I'm, now I'm going to have to do it even better. It's the Puma Deviate Elite Nitro. And you might have heard of the Deviate. That's this one back here. This one is not this one. This one, heavier, higher stack. This one, lighter, faster, plate. Meg, let's start with this upper. Talk about a screen door. <laughs> so this mono mesh upper, as it's called, is very, very light and breathable. Like this might be one of the most breathable uppers I've ever had on my foot. Yeah, it's, I mean, you can see right through it. You can see through it. I can see you watching this YouTube video through this shoe. It's magic. You do have some reinforcement here over the saddle to keep your foot locked in over the top of the shoe. Laces, this is kind of cool too, the eyelets. It's reflective. You've got a lot of reflective elements. A lot of times there's no cars on the course, but don't tell me you're not training in this shoe before you race. You gotta at least run it at once. You got some bolsters here on the side to keep your ankle in, feeling good. I did have some issues with the heel counter in the DV8 Nitro. Getting confusing again, that's that one over there because it had so much cushioning and such a stiff plate that my heel would lift up in it. This one, I don't have that problem. Yeah, I had no issues with heel lift. It's very minimal, the structure up here, but it's just enough where I felt like my foot was locked down. Comfortable, it's breathable, it's super light. It's also the shoe that Molly Seidel is using to smoke all these races lately. She's really digging this shoe and it has a lot to do with the cushioning. So you've got the nitro foam here, which is super critical foam. And you've got a plate in there that they call it the inno plate. So it's their particular chemistry of carbon going in there. It's got a little split toe. So you get a little bit of extra relief to the foot as you're coming through your stride. It doesn't make it so rigid that it's gonna, you know, cause problems. You also have almost a full covering of rubber on the outside. Puma here. grip. Yeah. And this Puma grip is good. We've talked about it in the other reviews. The grip on this is really good, really nice. When we talked with Aaron over there and Todd, they told us that they tried different rubbers and it turns out that their own composite of rubber worked as well as anything else that would be branded out there. We found that to be true this has really nice grip, yeah. really good feel through it. Now, Meg, this isn't as high of a stack as you're, you normally like. I mean, you still have a pretty decent stack. You have 36 in the heel, 28 in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. Again, not that giant slab of foam that I personally love, but you still have some decent cushioning here. And what you get from dropping that size of the midsole is a very light shoe. What's yours weigh? for uh, your size seven and a half. My women's seven and a half is 5.7 ounces or 161 grams. And since she has grams up, my size 10 and a half, which fits true to size, weighs 202 grams or 7.13 ounces. That's right on par with the Vaporfly. And this shoe feels great. Like we said, about the upper, it breathes insane. It doesn't have a gusseted tongue. It's got a very minimal upper, as a matter of fact. The, the whole thing here is to keep it light, airy, and let your foot do the work with the midsole and the plate. Yeah, so one of the things Aaron mentioned from Puma that they're doing this year is they're focusing on performance first and then fashion. But I have to say, this shoe's pretty fashionable. I mean, it, this looks stylish. It, it is, and our, if you haven't seen our photos on Instagram, we did a little boudoir shoot with them and I will tell you this thing is a beauty. I think being able to see some of the structure in the shoe makes a difference. Obviously you're gonna have to pick your socks wisely because you can see your socks right through this. So yeah. maybe invest in a new pair of socks when you get these for race day. Fit, feel, what do you think? We just talked about the New Balance uh, Fuel Cell Elite 2 recently and that shoe has a much wider midfoot and toe box than typical racing shoe. This one falls more into the typical racing shoe category. So I actually put on a pretty thick sock and this shoe was snug. Yeah, but for me, that's a great fit with my narrow foot because I like feeling like you can take corners at high speed in this. You can do a lot of things without it feeling sloppy. 
it has a surprisingly amount, a lot of bounce for a shoe with, I mean, that's not a huge amount of stack under the forefoot that we're experiencing with some of the other super shoes, like you brought up the RC Elite 2, that has a lot of uh, under toe cushioning. This one feels more like a traditional running shoe with that extra pop and bounce. So I think it's really gonna make a lot of people happy. It feels fast through your strides. You can see why Molly's really digging it. Yeah. Yeah, and at $200, it's one of the more, I'd say, reasonable. I mean, it's $200 reasonable at this point, but it's less than some of the other shoes. So, you know, you're looking at, if you were looking at the Nike Tempo next percent, or something, that's 180 if you're not getting it on sale. So for this to be $200 with the plate, with the foam, light upper, race day feel, ready to go, I think it's a pretty good Yeah. I would agree. And I think you're gonna get a lot of miles out of this guy. Like we said, this Puma grip is not only great for traction, but also durability. So you're gonna get a lot of miles yeah. out of it. And we're finding the uh, nitro infused super critical foams are lasting. So yeah, you should be able to get many races out of one pair of these. Everyone wants to compare it to Vaporfly, Alphafly. I'm gonna tell you, it's not, it doesn't remind me of either. So you don't have the stack like you do in the Alpha Fly, and it's not quite as soft cushioning as you feel in the Vapor Fly. This one actually feels a lot to me like one of my favorite non-plated shoes this year is the Rebel V2 with a plate. So you're getting that nice feel. You could also say in the same Puma lineup, the Liberate with a plate with a little bit of a slim down upper. It's a fun shoe to run in. I really like it. I'm really loving everything Puma's doing. If you wanna hear more about Puma and the direction they're going this year and where they're going in the future, you could listen to our podcast with Aaron Longen who came on and gave us the skinny on all the Puma stuff. Yeah, and that's something kind of unique, I think, to this shoe. You know, you don't see a lot of that in the market. I think brands that are using super critical foam often are just using, you know, a, a full midsole of the foam. But we, we really, in the Velocity, we set out to really build that just great go-to kind of everyday trainer um, you know, that was also really great for a wide range of consumers, you know. If you want to hear from an athlete's perspective, you can listen to our podcast with Molly Seidel where she goes through what she's loving about these shoes. I have been a huge fan of Believe in the Run for a long Get time. Get out of here. And so I'm like, this is, no, legitimately, I'm being a, like, I am painfully nerdy about shoes. So <sighs> I very much enjoy it. When I saw you guys release, like when you got the first look at the Puma shoes, Oh, uh, whatnot. I was really excited too. So, like, you guys had them. I get it. I get why she's in love with it. And I get why she's like pumped to be running for Puma. Big cat energy all the way around. That's a <laughs> quick review of the Puma Deviate Elite Nitro. So, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our podcasts. Anything else we wanted to do? Join us on Strava. Yeah. Follow us on the gram. Instagram. That's where we release all the sexy pictures first. Weird. Yeah. Almost not safe for work if you're really into running shoes. But other than that, say hi to your mom and we'll check you out later. Does it have nitro in there? Yeah. Okay. They always throw the nitro on. See? I mean, I know it's nitro, on the shoes, It says but... nitro elite, so I don't know. Maybe it's the nitro elite. Maybe it's the DV8. No, look. DV8 elite. It's written right in the top. All right. It's written right, written right on the tongue. <laughs>